So the first step on his right hand is to make this rounded. We're going to establish the outside shape only. So it's going to round all over. Just take the, the squareness out of it and make it all round. And once you get that done, then we can mark in where the thumb is going to be. And the thumb is the only part that sticks out. You don't have fingers to carve this time. I'll just point out one thing with the thumb. So the fingers move this way and the thumb moves this way. Okay? So the thumb moves at right angles to the fingers. So if you keep that in mind, you'll realize that the thumb has to sit out in front of the of the body. So the thumb will will work down like this in this area here. We'll just mark that out. So there is the the thumb. I made it a little bit longer. I didn't like the, the shortness of it. So I've made it a little bit longer, marked it in there, and uh, just after I got it rounded, just start lining it up. And then I established where the cuff was going to be, a little bit of a notch there, front and back, and uh, then the line where the uh, where the hand goes into the pocket. So just mark that out just that way. I'll pass this around. So the first thing I I did was I created a, I used my V-tool to come up and create the inside of the thumb and right up to the wrist. And I used my V-tool just to, to go in there and create the, the shape. So now you can see that the, the shape is now rounded for the meat of the the top of the hand and then the thumb comes down. So then likewise then just get in and remove a bit of material on the side of the thumb and so then you've got the thumb, establish the bottom side of the, the thumb just by coming across there. So you create a square first then go to the back of the hand and just try and keep this in focus. So establish where the, the it meets the cuff I'm just going to take that piece out and then it's very easy to establish the the back of the hand. Uh, where are we? There we go. Don't worry about cutting in the pocket. We're going to shape the, the hand first and then make the pocket match. Watch this for a second. So I just want to point out that the fingers on a hand are uh, got several joints, but on a thumb, you've only got two joints. So you've got a joint there and a joint there. The joint up here is where it joins on to the hand. So you're gonna, if you make a little bit of a hollow here and a little bit of a hollow here, that gives you the two knuckles that are required in there. All right. So that it's very simple to. To set that up, and I, I would just use a a, uh, a gouge. Everybody's got something about like that. It's a uh, this happens to be a number seven uh, six millimeter. So so by putting it in and just giving it a scoop and then giving it another scoop, then that, that creates the the knuckles that are involved. Okay. So then it's just a question of creating the pocket, the top of the pocket, where the hand goes in and just grab a, a V-tool and uh, go across your line with the V-tool on an angle so that you cre create a sharp edge dividing where the, the pocket is. I'll leave a little bit of the mark on there so you can see it. And then just take a, a knife or a gouge, uh, whatever, to uh, make the back of the hand work into that. It's just like a stop cut. And there you go, you got the hand in the pocket. Well, very briefly, uh, I just whittled away at the arm, so establish the shape of the arm, front and back. Uh, make sure that you create a, a little square on the back of the arm so that 
you can uh, then create an eight-sided arm and then start rounding in the back of the arm and on the front and uh, get that body hollowed out a little bit so that then you can, after a while, shape the arm, give it the final detail. So now I'd like to show, show you the how to start working our way down. When, so certainly there's a lot of detail that have to go in here with his belt um, and all that in, all that stuff in there. But in order to create his crotch area here, and you can see that the carver or the, the guy who designed this has a cut in there and a cut in there. So those two cuts right there, uh, right in here, and right in here created. I do a third cut and that's a straight up and down cut here. And I do that with a V-tool. So I'll turn that kind of upside down but give you the idea. So I started off with to try and round that. I'm going to create a notch in there and that's a spot that allows me to start making the curve. And you can see right away just by making those three cuts with a V-tool, how that turns his crotch. It gives you room now to put your knife in or use a gouge and you can either work, that's hard for me to get there, so that you can work towards that cut so I can shape the top of the leg simply by working to that crotch crotch the area because I've got the V cut already in there likewise on the other side so that then once you get that established then it, it's no problem at all then to, to remove some wood going down the leg it works both ways so you've already created that same notch for the leg when you created the bottom of the, uh, the hand here and when you created the pouch here the pocket so both of them allow you then to make the uh, again make it an eight-sided leg as opposed to a four-sided leg and that's the beginning of rounding your your leg off and that includes all the way down even the boot has to be rounded even the boot has to be rounded so you can and you can narrow it down or leave it as thick as you want okay so the question was uh, what you, we did on the front is it the same as we do on the back and the answer is yes. So that that is a very simple way of creating the, the crotch area whether it's front or back. Just create those those three V tools or V cuts. And then that allows you to round over the legs.